Yo, yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to today's Webflow five minute jam session. Uh, I'm never quite sure how to introduce these jam sessions, so I'm trying to get a little creative with it. Uh, but yeah, it's coming along. Uh, yesterday we built out uh, these few elements here in Webflow, uh, the nav bar, uh, this left side with these panels and the right side with these panels as well that um, change color on hover. And we have the background image there as well. Um, so as I was looking at this uh, Figma file and this design, I noticed that this image is more like a slider. So this image is within a slider. So we have these buttons here, and these buttons could actually correspond to maybe some text down here. Um, but I decided to use these buttons, or yeah, I'm gonna use these buttons to, to change images uh, in the background here, to change this background image. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're gonna use some custom code. So it's gonna get a bit intense, but it'll, it'll still be under five minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer and start. All right, cool. So let's go in here into the project and I'm gonna go ahead and hide all of the right panels. So I'll just change the display setting. I'll hide the uh, gold overlay. Uh, for this right side, I'm gonna remove the contrast filter and I'm gonna go ahead and delete the background image here. So in this right side, I'm gonna go ahead and add a slider. Uh, I'm going to change the width to 100% and the height to 100%. Cool, so there we have the slider. And then within slide one, um, I'm going to go ahead and add the background image. So I'll go ahead and choose the image and we have it here and I'll set it to cover. All right, cool. So I downloaded a few other images from Unsplash here and I've added it to the assets panel so we can have a few more slides. Um, so there we have slide one. Um, I'll go ahead into the navigator panel and slide two. I'll go ahead and add the background image, um, set it to cover or first pick the image. Uh, we'll do this one here. So the product seems to be centered around headphones. So I've just grabbed headphone images and then we'll add one more slide. So let's go in here, slide three, perfect. Um, slide two and slide three, cool. Um, so I'll choose another image and then we have another image here with headphones, cool. All right, so we have the three images and if I preview, um, we have the slide, so that's cool. I do want it to be a crossfade effect because we have those panels in front of it. So for the slide, I'm just gonna say crossfade. Okay, so here's the custom code bit. So here we have these kind of left and right arrows. I don't wanna use the default left and right arrows here and I want these arrows to be outside of the slider. So uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll grab the left slider and hide it, or the left and right arrow and just hide it, set the display setting to none. And here in the left panel, I'll go ahead and add those arrows. So here I'll hit Command K and I'll do something like, uh, yeah, add a div block and I'll set it, call it um, slider arrow wrapper. Slider arrows, yeah, because it's plural, uh, two of them. And I'll go ahead and set the left panel to a position of relative and the slider arrows wrapper, I'll set it to absolute and position it on the bottom left. All right, cool. So then I'll add some another div block in here and I'll call this um, slider left arrow. Cool. And I'll give it a specific width and height, so 50 by 50. Um, I'll give it a border radius of 50%, so it's a perfect circle, and we'll just make the circle black. All right, cool. So I'll hit Command-C to copy, Command-C to paste, and I'll just duplicate the class, and I'll call this slider right arrow. All right, cool. So there we have it. And then for the slider arrows wrapper, I'm gonna give it a position uh, display setting of flex, so they're um, in horizontal, so they're next to each other. All right, cool. So we have the slider arrow in there. Um, and let's go ahead and add the custom code and we'll add the little arrow icons in a second, um, but I'll just give it some padding there or yeah, some margin. All right, cool. So let's add the custom code bit. So when I first started to work with the custom code, I had to figure out how to make external buttons um, or buttons outside of the slider clickable to change the slide. So I found this flow based article, but this is for buttons within the slider. And then I found this, uh, this Webflow forum post uh, that goes over how to do it. So I'll leave links to the forum post and I'll actually leave, leave the custom code in the section below because it's a pretty cool script. Um, 
so you can control a slider with buttons that are outside of the slider. So I just copied the script and I'll go ahead and paste it in here. And basically um, we have the new button, which is a slider arrow left. And um, it's going to target the slider arrow left within the slider. So we gave, we gave this slide and actually I haven't done that yet. So let's go into the slider and give it um, an ID, which is BO, I'm gonna give it the ID BO play slider. All right, cool. So that now the slider has an ID and now the code will work. So, um, so basically, yeah, the, the left and the right arrow, the W slider arrow right and left, those are the buttons we wanna target with the new buttons that are outside of the slider. Um, and this code here allows us to do that. So it's just, uh, yeah, new dot click, e, e prevent default trigger tap. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave the code in the description area below. So I'll save it and I'll publish just so we can test it because my five minutes are running out and it's not working. So let's go back in and make sure that I assigned the slider, BO play slider. Okay, so my five minutes are up, but let's try to get this to work because I really want this to work. So slider, BO play slider, and slider arrow left, slider arrow right. That should be working, slider. Ah, I named the class names wrong. Okay, so it should be, um, yeah, let's go ahead and change it. That's, that's fine. I mean, I could change it in the code or I could change it here, uh, but we wanna make sure that these class names match up uh, correctly. Slider arrow left. All right, so let's just put this uh, on this side so it makes sense. And uh, zero, so that's that's not quite working. Okay, slider arrow left. Where did I put the right arrow? Um, so let me just undo that so we get that. All right, cool. So I just want to change the position here. So there we go. All right, and remove the margin from this and yeah, just add some margin to the right one. All right, cool. So now they have the correct class name. So if we go into the code um, in here, yeah, slider arrow, arrow left and slider arrow right. Okay, so now I'll publish and it should be working. So I'll preview and perfect. All right, cool. So these external buttons are working except the left isn't working. So let's go back in. Um, and so slider arrow left, slider arrow right, and R, L, uh, let's see, t -t -t new L, new R, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, so let's see, maybe I still, slider, left arrow, slider, oh, yeah, it seems like the class name didn't save. Okay, slider arrow left, all right, cool. All right, now it should work. Cool, so technically we pretty much did it under five minutes, I just kind of miss, missed the class names there. All right, so now both buttons work, and awesome. So we'll continue with this tomorrow, but basically we're able to change the slider now with these buttons. And the other cool thing that I might wanna do is uh, change not only the slide, but change the content in here. So we could put another slider in here and have these buttons target two sliders. So that would be pretty cool. So we have a lot of movement going on with, with this header. All right, so that's it for the five minute jam session, maybe six and a half minutes today. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these sessions. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing them and yeah, I'll see you in the next uh, jam session. So again, um, let me go to the web dev for you templates. Um, yeah, if you want to get started quickly with the template, you can go to the web dev for you template. Um, there's a discount code in the description area below uh, for 20%. Yeah, where you can get 20% off any of these templates. All right, cool. So thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next jam session.